Season 2 of Reacher just ended, and it was a fine conclusion for an all-around okay season. I got my fair share of criticisms that I might possibly make a review on, so stay in tune for that. The ending itself is quite literally everything I expected, with some questionable moments that even had me wondering what the hell is going on, but we'll talk about that when we get there. And as always, spoilers ahead, duh. So if you know nothing about Reacher Season 2, then I'll give you the quick and dirty. Just like in Season 1, Jack Reacher investigates the death of someone close to him. Him, this time being Franz, a friend from the days of the Special Investigation Unit. And sort of like Season 1, Reacher, as always, accidentally stumbles into something much larger than simply murder. As a New Age Technologies branch under Shane Langston is selling $65 million worth of weapons to an arms dealer simply known as AM. Reacher forms up what's left of his unit, aka Neely, David O'Donnell, and Carla Dixon. And they start digging deeper and deeper into this shit show, going so far as to figure out that there were even politicians trying to get a slice of the profit themselves. But after Shane captures Carla and David, which they never really go into detail on how these two badasses got nabbed, but whatever. But after that, Reacher is forced to give himself up, albeit with a plan in place, as multiple SEAL team members sent by Senator Lavoie are deployed. They're mainly there to cover his ass so that the public doesn't know his involvement, with the whole game being detained other than Neely, who is absolutely going to work on these guards. And Shane knows that she's the last loose end to tie up. Up, so he begins to pointlessly torture Reacher for information. Like, you're better off punching a wall trying to make that talk. We then see him switch strategy, targeting Reacher emotionally, by showing him what's left of Tony Swan, another friend who was a member of the Special Investigations Unit. And god damn, he went full medieval on his ass. Like, look at this, there's only an eyeball and a finger left. Shane finally comes to the conclusion that Reacher is obviously not going to talk. So he starts to pack up and get rid of his loose ends. Now, this is one of the moments that I don't understand. Why is he so fixated on throwing people out of helicopters? Granted, if you choose the right spot, it will take a while for anyone to find them, I get that, but why not just simply kill them and then throw out their corpses? There's literally a 0% chance of anything going to shit that way. Or at the very least, kill Reacher. He obviously has a plan since he's giving himself up willingly, not to mention he's not spilling any of the information you want. So there's literally no reason not to put a bullet in his head at this point. Alright, mini side rant over, the obvious happens, Reacher begins his escape plan. The SEAL team cuts the power, and all hell breaks loose. As the gunfight intensifies, Shane decides to dip with Reacher hot on his heels. And right before the helicopter takes off, we see Reacher doing, well, Reacher things. As he's using his bare hands to hold on to the back of a goddamn helicopter, with him knowing that sooner or later the hatch will open, since Shane just has a weird fetish of only killing people by tossing them out of helicopters. And surely enough, Reacher enters and starts beating these two guys' asses. Now, I could be an absolute dick and nitpick at the fact that I don't even think this part is humanly possible without at least dislocating your shoulder completely. But I mean, look at this guy. He's an absolute unit, so I'll let this one slide. But what I can't turn a blind eye to is the fact that both of these nincompoops could have easily tossed Reacher out of the helicopter. Granted, he is 240 something pounds, but at that position, it's truly not that difficult for each of you just to grab a leg and toss him out. And worse yet, instead of doing something like that, this dude decides to give him an ultimatum. Like, what the fuck is going through your mind right now? You're in a fight or die situation, and you do possibly the stupidest shit imaginable. And no shocker here, he dies. With Reacher finally getting his revenge for his dead friends, ironically killing him the same way that Franz died, with also a pretty badass line tossed in there. You assume that's the information I need, Langston, but in an investigation, assumptions kill. No. Having the story wrap up full circle, we then see Reacher force the pilot to land at the spot where they were going to make the exchange, setting up and killing AM. And he might possibly be up there for one of the most empty characters I've seen in a while. Like other than being cold and calculating and also strangely enough enjoying giving children comic books, I knew nothing about this guy. So his death was much less satisfying than Shane Langston's was. After that, they tie up the other loose ends like the pilot, the engineer, 
Sawyer and Lavoie's hired guns, with the latter being arrested by Homeland Security. The gang then walks out with 65 million, distributing it all to the victims' families, and among themselves to a certain degree, with Reacher being the only one not to touch it, mainly because he doesn't need or want material possessions, as that's not really something he's known for, besides a toothbrush I guess. Side note here, they also took a picture to kind of honor the memory of their fallen comrades and to cherish what they have left of their unit. The season ends with Neely saying goodbye to Reacher, and I really love how both of them are kind of awkward with expressing themselves. Neither one wants to directly say that they see the other as family, but they both will acknowledge it in private, as we see with the final scene. Doing what? Get your last. Visiting family. All in all, like I said, I think this was a satisfying conclusion to an all-around decent season, albeit with some goofy moments that had me scratching my head. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed, consider liking, subscribing, and comment below what I should do next. I'll do animes, shows, movies, games, whatever. But again, thank you so much for watching.